Africa, we are coming. Yes, they are, you hear that? Say it again one time. NBA Africa, we are coming. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a huge monumental event for, uh, just a, a monumental moment for the sport, for the game, for the players, and for the continent. So talk a little bit about how that all came together and what did you take out of the experience? It was great. I think it was uh, one of the best experiences ever happened in the continent. To have a live game being performed in the continent for the first time. And to have the dream shaker himself. Yes. And Dikemi Mutombo being there. <laughs> and I think uh, it was a history that we made. It was a great hope for the next generation, especially to our young people who are following us, who are watching us, who are being inspired with the things that we've been accomplished. Um, I mean, I've worked with so many things. It was just big. You know, you know, it was a dream come true for me in Akim Arashwan to see the game be played in the continent. But I didn't know that I was going to participate in those games. My hope was that one day our game would be played in the continent. And I'm glad that it took place and I was part of it. And it's real quick because my, my site focuses on women on yes. the WNBA. So we've had Slim Cash go, um, Neko Fugumi who is from Nigeria. So what is the state of the women's game, I guess, from your point of view? And how do you think having a game like NBA Africa will help the women's game develop over the next couple of years? Uh, right now, I'd say that the women's games are much developed than men's game in the continent. Okay. Uh, it depends on which country you're talking for. You're looking for Angola, Mozambique, Senegal, mm -hmm. Congo, Kinshasa. All those countries, the women's team have gone much farther in the World Cup and the World Championship men. So, there's always been a great place for women in basketball. And to see the number of the African players, which are women who are playing with WNBA, they have gone up in a fast rate than the men they have gone. So, I am part of that. I contribute to that because I was the first person to bring Wadi Mabika uh, after the Olympic team in 96 to come play in the WNBA and to open up the door to some more African players to come to the NBA. So I'm glad I pay, spend more money for such a great basketball player and uh, they reach out to this milestone that we are celebrating today. Now we need to have a WNBA game in Africa. Yes, can we make that happen so I can do <laughs> <laughs> NBA Africa, we are coming. And WNBA Africa, we're coming. And as well. NBA. But the NBA Africa office need to make everything happen. Uh, see, you Talk see, you heard them. it first from him. You heard it first. Make it happen. Make it happen, I'm a do. <laughs> and who do you think is going to win the WNBA playoffs this year? For the finals? You know, I'm still cheering for my Atlanta. You know, Atlanta. The dreams, you know, we have a wonderful team. And uh, we're getting beat up a little bit this year. But I think uh, we're going to try and give it a shot. I can give up hope for my team yet. Thank you so much. It was great talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.